What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. We are finishing up my little worms. I'm actually quite excited about this. I was really tired when I came home from work last night, so I recorded a shorter video. And hopefully this one won't be too long either, but we're going to be finishing up what I left off on my little worms. By the way, the discord server is up. It'll be linked in the description in almost every video now. So if you want to join the discord server, just feel free to drop in and say hello and make yourself comfy. So we're going to start off with this one. This is where we left off. Flurry, darling. Dear. Oh, she's infected as shit. Little one, don't hide. My little girl, here you are. Don't hide again. Heaven, you scared your mother a lot. Where is your father, darling? Oh, she's like hallucinating. Second season of My Little Worms. Oh, don't cry, my girl. God damn. Twilight, please. Twilight pounces on Sunset and Starlight. Fuck, Twilight. Trixie knocks out Twilight. It wasn't necessary to do that. Shut your mouth, Sunset. It's your fault that he she behaved like this. She's almost ate you alive. Please calm down. Twilight looked conscious at first, and now she behaved completely different. We will have to lock her up. We can study her symptoms, her actions, her physical and psychological state. You're right, Twilight. Can be of help. But I'll only help if she's locked up and tied up. I'm not about to let that thing bite me. But what the hell are you saying? How do you come up for that? Sunset, shut up. You're no one here to say what's wrong and what's right. We won't hurt her. We'll just watch her from afar. Rainbow Dash. God, what am I doing? I left her completely alone with that thing. But if I let her come with me, it would only delay me. Rainbow Dash hears someone nearby. Shit. Oh, it's Tree Hugger and uh, I think Coco or something like that. I don't remember. Rainbow Dash, what are you doing here? Damn, you scared me. Rainbow Dash paused briefly before to speak. I was... I got lost. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I got lost. I do not know where to go. If you want, you can come with us. We have a camp a few meters from here. There are more ponies. We even have supplies. Believe me, you will feel comfortable. The fuck will I do with Apple Bloom? You must be hungry, right? Follow us. A hot and delicious soup awaits you. Brilliant. Come on. So Rainbow Dash made new friends. It's nice. Follow me. Coco was setting up a tent for you. Don't you mind receiving new people? Of course not. Girls. Tree hugger, I'm sorry, but the tent I found, the pieces were broken, so I couldn't put it together. Fuck, Pommel. Oh, it's Pommel. Oh, it's Coco Pommel. I was right, yeah. Tree hugger hits Coco Pommel. Why? You never do anything well. God, you're good for nothing. This is not like her. She's normally chill as hell, bro. Wasn't I clear to you last time? Sorry. But why do you treat her like that? With what right do you hit her? Stay out of it, Rainbow. It's none of your business. Shut up, Pommel. Fuck. Sorry, Rainbow. Let's go. I'll show you around. I feel bad. It's fucked up. Not this fucking audio again, bro. Five days later. Have you already gotten used to that place? Yeah. Wait. That looks like a nut. That's Applejack. That's Applejack. Holy shit. You okay? Damn. She got fucked up. Apple? Shit. Tree Hugger has given you a weapon. Apple Bloom. Where are you? Applejack made strange sounds. It produced a strong and disgusting smell. There were even more mochas from hair on her head. Tree Hugger, shoot. Rainbow Dash, no, I can't. Tree Hugger, I'm telling you, you have to shoot. Be brave and have some fucking guts. Rainbow Dash, I can't. Shoot for fuck's sake. Rainbow Dash shot. Four months later. 
At least Coco Pommel seems healthier. Come on, don't be left behind. If Rimadash hadn't shot me, it would be easier to walk. Oh, damn. You asked for it. Uh, you are a son of a bitch no more. I was left without a leg because of you. Don't fight, please. Behave on the way. Shut up, you damn bitch. I'd hit you right now if I could. Better stop taking drugs, sick bastard. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Twilight. Stop looking at me. How long will they keep me here? As soon as I leave this place, I'm going to kill all of you. Even you. Can you give me something to eat? I'm too hungry. Please. Damn. Twilight, why did you do all this sunset? Are you seriously asking? I want to help you, Twilight. Now I can't even return to my world, and when I had the opportunity to do so, I didn't do it, and do you know why? Because I stayed to protect you, to find the solution, the cure to be able to help you. You really are stupid, aren't you? Do you really think you're helping me with all this shit? No matter how good I look physically, my conscience does not leave me alone. That's why I want to help you, Twilight. Damn it, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. It's time for your medications. It's, it's your turn to medicate, Twilight. I don't want you to prick me again. Please don't talk. Sunset Shimmer entered the room with a gun and the medications. Sunset held Twilight. Twy, fuck, leave me alone. Don't talk, Twilight. It hurts, you fucking brute. If you don't shut up, I won't feed you. Good girl. Sunset releases Twilight and leaves the room. Aww. I mean, it's kind of cute, but it's not. I don't know. I feel my brain throb. What? It must be the effect of the medications. Can you stop looking at me? You are annoying. Okay, Twilight, I'll leave you alone for today. By the way, your friend Fluttershy is fine. Twilight smiles playfully. Okay. Come on, don't be left behind. Are you making fun of me, you fucking bitch? Can you guys shut up? Let me help you, Pommel. Better leave the damn thing there. I would have left you hanging better. I'm sure it's around here. Don't you smell a strange smell? Yeah, it smells bad. It was Coco who shit on herself. How funny. Yes, but it really smells bad. It's too strong of a smell. Well, I don't feel anything. Can we stop here? My legs hurt. Rimbadash hears footsteps. Okay, I'll look at the map. Shit, be careful. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck. Tree Hugger pushes Coco Pommel and Rainbow Dash so she can run away. Tree Hugger escaped. Rainbow Dash, you bitch. Damn. Fuck, Pommel, get behind me. Rainbow Dash pulls out a knife. Get away, damn it. Coco Pommel grabs Rainbow Dash from the side and runs away. Don't stay there, dumbass. Let's go. Are you okay? Yeah, relax. And by the way, thanks for not leaving me there. No problem, Dash. You'd do that for me too, wouldn't you? Yeah. Rainbow Dash feels guilty. I bet it's about Apple Bloom. I'm sorry Tree Hugger got us into this. Sorry, she must have just pushed me. What? Don't apologize. It's not your fault, Pommel. You don't deserve her to treat you like that. Don't let someone so shitty do whatever they want with you. I'm already used to it, Dash. Value yourself more, yes? Don't let someone else treat you like that again, okay? Got it. Thanks, Dash. We will have to take another path. Do you still have the map with you? I have it saved. If we cross that corner, we will reach another camp. By the way, are you hungry? I brought food. Don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, okay. That's cute. I like that. There's a chance like Rainbow Dash and her could get really close and that's really cute. I really like that. It's gonna skip again. I knew it. Are you sure it's this way? The road was longer than I thought. Well, on the map it showed that there was a camp here but a strange symbol appeared. I don't know what it means. They only sent us here. I don't think it's of much. Oh look, someone is approaching. 
and you are they lost? Something like that. This is Kamet Camp. What was it called? Kamet. You do know what this camp is about, don't you? They said there were fresh provisions here. We came to barter our camp spoke with the person in charge here. Food supplies for medicine? Sure, follow me. I'll take you to the people in charge of this place. Are you sure it's here? The atmosphere is strange. Well, that was on the map, and that's what they told me. I really don't know what things are like here. Doesn't it seem strange to you that they always have fresh and good food? Where did they get it from? The truth is, I never asked myself. Doesn't matter anymore. You don't have to draw conclusions. Oh, it's flesh. Oh, it's gotta be flesh. Hurry. I don't have all the time in the world. It's this way. Follow me. What the shit? Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Help me, damn it. They want to eat me alive, you damn sons of bitches. I think I'm going to throw up, Dash. Coco Pommel vomits on Rainbow. Oh god, god, my, I'm sorry. Rainbow Dash goes, it doesn't matter anymore. Damn. Damn. Damn, that's fucked. <laughs> that's what you get for running away like a little bitch, bro. <laughs> that's your fault. You shouldn't have ran. Four months ago. Apple Bloom hears a plank move, which opens an exit to the outside. Is there anyone there? Apple Bloom. Honey, what are you doing here, darling? There is something in here. I'm waiting for Rainbow. She's not back yet. Honey, the pony with the colored hair, that girl is already gone. What? Come here, little one. Don't make noise. They can hear us. Is that Luna? And your brothers. I don't know where they are. I'm alone. Apple Bloom starts sobbing. Calm down. You will be with me and everything will be fine. Where is this girl? Oh, dude, Big Mac's actually okay. Let's go. Apple Bloom. Big Mac runs. Apple Bloom. Oh, it's uh, her. I don't remember her name. Brother. Brother, are you alive? You were here alive? Where were they this time? Oh, baby, I found her there, and I took her with me. She's fine now. Yeah, she took care of me all this time. Seriously, thank you. I'm so glad we're both okay. I was too worried. No wonder, love. I missed you so much. I'm glad to see your face again. Okay, Sugar Bell starts coughing continuously. Are you okay? What's going on? I'm sick, love. What, are you infected? Please don't tell me this. I'd barely see you again. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to. Love, please. Oh, okay. So we have like a little update based on the characters. So, infected, but conscious infected. Suffers from double personality, facts about her, dementia. Her horn exploded. She ate Spike. The larval eggs are still in her brain and depression. Or is that what that says? Yeah, depression. Please help. So she's getting quite hungry. And by the way, I actually learned that the way I'm doing it is completely fine because she asked if she was hungry. So that means if she said she was hungry and the hunger is up, that means she's hungry. I'm going off of that. I do not care what anyone else has to say about it. So she is hungry. She's not as tired as hungry. She is really stressed out, really irritable, and she's very sad. Rambadash is healthy. She lost her left ear. Selfish, only cares about herself. Eats beetles, says it's protein. She cuts her hair in season two. Hunger isn't as bad. Tiredness isn't as bad either. And she's quite stressed and irritable. Why do you care? I don't think it makes sense for her to fucking know, be so selfish though. Isn't she loyal? But I get it. It's not canon. It's not meant to be. Coco Pommel is healthy. Facts about her. Suffered abuse. She's in charge of supplies in the map. Sentimental like a puppy. She's pretty healthy. Please don't hurt me. It hurts. Limestone Pie. Healthy. Facts about her. She works in the camp to help his family. She does not agree with the rules and they, things they do in the camp, but she does it to survive. Lives on lemon and insects. She's also quite healthy. Let's see here. Spoiled Rich is healthy. Facts about her. Had to eat her daughter to survive. That's terrible. Husband abandon her and she has dementia and she cries every night for her uh she's 
fairly uh, in good condition when it comes to hunger and sleepiness. Like, she can make it, but she's pretty stressed out. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I'm not trying to move my hand. I think my nerves are, like, twitching or something. What the hell? I think I just sat on my hand too long. Or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, honestly. Granny Smith... Uh, facts about her lost an eye trying to defend herself. Zombies are afraid of her is in charge of cooking and adding spices. She is in the camp to protect her family from the same cannibals. And she hits those who misbehave with the spoon. Increase the fire. That thing is still moving. Wow. Tree hugger is unknown. Facts about her. She takes drugs aggressive. She chose that being peaceful in these cases were not an option. Mistreats Coco Pommel and abuses her power. Stress and irritability is obviously very high. She's being cooked fucking alive. My God. Applejack is undead. She's a zombie. Uh, she's still looking for her family. She doesn't recognize that she is dead. She sacrificed herself for her sister in Rainbow Dash. Apple Bloom, where are you? She is very hungry, very stressed, and a lot of pain, and now is irritable. Princess Cadence is infected and advanced. Facts about her. She has relations with her husband's corpse. Necrophilia. That is disturbing. Lives with her dead family. Dementia. Depression. And she is pregnant. Oh, not again. Jesus. So that's all there is for this. The story gets better and better. I'm excited to see some more. Holy shit. Hopefully there is more. I don't know for sure, but there, there has to be because I feel like that ends off on a cliffhanger. There's got to be more. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you did. Dislike if you didn't. It's completely fine either way. And we finally caught up on My Little Worms. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Fuck, I'm lying Can't even make this perfect timing I'm always sad, don't